Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at the best ways to start programming in GameMaker Studio 2. So I'm going to show you different options you basically have for when you're wanting to start a new programming project. Your first option is of course YouTube videos. So right here I have Sean Spalding, probably the most well-known GameMaker Studio programmer from the very start. And he has just a bunch of programming videos for Game Maker Studio and everything you can need. And the same goes for Heart Beast. He also does some where he does pixel art, but he also has many popular series. So basically, you'll just watch the videos, you'll learn how to program in Game Maker Studio 2 specifically, and basically, you can be building games with them. And the same goes for my channel, of course. So, all three of these channels they will program and what you should be doing is you should have Game Maker Studio 2 open as well and you should be programming the same thing they are. The next option is to go to the forums. So YoYo -Yo Games has its own forums and YoYo -Yo Games made Game Maker Studio 2. So you just go to the YoYo -Yo Games page and you go to the Game Maker Community Forums. You press that and here you go. You have a bunch of different topics for Game Maker and specifically programming is probably going to be important advanced programming and then game design so if I just go into this I could just ask some sort of question or I could browse and so the forums are pretty great for basically finding very specific information that you need the YouTube videos are a great place to build a foundation and get started but this is where you can really tackle specific questions you have and find really good answers from people that have been programming for a long time with Game Maker Studio 2. Then you have Twitch Communities Game Development in specific. So I would definitely recommend following this or harding this because what this has is it has people that are just programming their own games and they're showing you their whole process. Of course this requires a lot more time devotion because usually if you're going to watch someone live stream you should be watching them for maybe an hour at a time at the very least just because it's a slower process you know they're not really editing a video they have they're just showing you everything they're doing and the great use of this is that you can watch some small channel on here maybe someone with five viewers or four viewers or something and you can actually talk to them in the chat you can learn about their game project and you can Usually, if you ask them questions, they're usually going to be very nice about it, and they'll potentially even help you out a lot. So you can learn all kinds of things from them. And also, the other people in the chat, they can teach you a lot of stuff, too. And also, sometimes they'll even let you influence their game. Like, if you think you have some cool idea that you think could help with their project or anything. And basically, you, you all can just learn from sharing with each other. Just beyond that... There's the last option, which is basically Discord, and that's a great place. It's almost like the forums over here, but it's just more for chatting with different people, and it is really useful. So usually, if you become friends with a Twitch streamer, they'll invite you to their Discord as well, because lots of people have Discords, and there you can even expand further, and heck, maybe even you can start a new project with somebody, which actually happens a lot through the internet so new projects start up all the time between tons of people well thank you for watching but just remember the most important thing when it comes to creating video games and learning how to create video games with game maker studio 2 is through experience you should be creating your own game projects no matter if you're a beginner or super advanced you should always be having new projects learning from your mistakes and always making awesome games. So thank you for watching.